I got a case of the shakes. I need a shot of Macaulay V2 Pro in my life. <laughs> When you don't have a tripod or some other type of stabilization device available, or you gotta take a shot without any type of preparation, you're usually gonna have to roll handheld. So unless you can keep your hands as steady as the concrete in the streets, you're gonna notice something going on in your video. You guys know what I'm talking about. Shaking, tilting, bobbing, shifting, all type of craziness. So basically what I'm telling you is, if you go handheld, you're gonna have some movement in your shots. So when it's time to find a solution for those handheld shots, you gotta find something that'll turn those jittery messes into stable masterpieces. That's where Macaulay V2 Pro comes in. Macaulay offers tools that removes camera shake, reduces jolts and trembling, it smooths out through the regular pan and zoom shots, and enhances your footage to create quality shots and images. Macaulay V2 Pro comes with this new technology. It's based on all three camera accesses and stuff. And you know what? They call it 3D stabilization. Now, ProDad claims that this technology is something you're gonna wanna hug because it detects movement better and therefore gives you better results. And we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of those results as we go through the review. Let's get started by taking a quick look at the plugin interface. So we wanna right click on the footage, go to Open Effects Editor, We'll go to add-ons, and then we'll go to ProDad. On the ProDad, you'll find Mercalli V2 Pro once you've went ahead and installed the software. You get a little message on the screen that says, Video Effect ProDad Mercalli. The video analysis must be executed again. Basically, that just means that you haven't done the video analysis yet. So you go over here to plug in and you click on open. Once it opens up, you'll see a bevy of controls here. And if you want further settings, you just go ahead and click on this little checkbox here. And bam, you got further settings. Start off on the left. Now, the compare view section allows you to select from multiple preview playback modes to play back your stabilized video in Pinnacle Studio. You can choose from final result, horizontal split screen, or vertical split screen. Now you also have an option to show an evaluation grid if you wish to do so with the compare view setting. Next on the side, we got border handling. Border handling gives you three options. You got best border, best stabilization, and fixed border. This smart border technology reduces the required zoom in factor to preserve as much image information as possible from the original footage in the stabilized clip. When best border is selected, no border appears in the stabilized video. When best stabilization is selected, a black border appears around the stabilized video. The border will move from place to place based on the video shake. You can remove the border by selecting the autofill colors box or using a zoom slider. When fixed border is selected, a static border appears in the stabilized video. You can also use the auto fill colors option or the zoom slider to remove the border with this selection. Let's jump over here to the middle. Now in the middle, we have our adjustments. Macaulay provides a little therapy and TLC for those CMO sensors with fully automatic rolling shutter compensation, baby. This feature enhances the quality 
of footage from action cameras, compact photo cameras, mobile phones, and DSLRs. It addresses movement in your videos due to rotation on the Z axis. So if you ever see your video getting its roll on, this is what you need to adjust. If you need to, you can disable roll compensation by unchecking the box next to it. Zoom compensation turns your zooms into buttery smoothness. Move the slider to the right to increase the smoothness and turn those shaky zooms into steady zooms. If you need to disable zoom compensation, there's a checkbox for that. Just check out this before and after footage to see the results for yourself. Horizontal tilt compensation corrects movement due to rotation on the x-axis. Use the slider to put that x-axis back in its freaking place. And you know you can disable that as well. Vertical tilt compensation does the same trick for the y-axis. And last but not least in this section, we have the keep camera dynamic option. It does what it says. It keeps things lively and active basically it makes sure that intentional movements by the camera operator are not adjusted if you want to change shaky breaky heart hands-free action footage in the tripod style footage you can always disable to keep camera dynamic option now on the right hand side we got virtual stable cam pan shot smoothing avoid border and video format there are several Stabicam options to analyze and correct that jittery jump in video footage. You determine how the camera should work and how it should film by your choice of virtual Stabicam. For instance, an absolutely fixed camera stabilizes according to different criteria than a, fl a free flying or gliding virtual camera. Now you can choose from universal camera, which improves your footage in all cases, glide camera for tracking of a moving object, Rock steady camera for shots of still objects. Or alternative camera for unique shots if the other steady cam options didn't produce the results that you were looking for. If you notice distortions or image wobble after stabilization, you can kick that mess to the curb by enabling the rolling shutter compensation option in the virtual steady cam area. When you're doing panning, not panting like your best friend Rex, the pan shot smoothing selection helps to smooth out those movements. The avoid border option is dependent on the type of shake that's affecting your video. It can be used to reduce shaking or reduce stabilization while retaining as much of the resolution of the original video as possible. The signalized frames option places a red or purplish type edge on parts of the video where better stabilization could be achieved by increasing the avoid border option. And the final option we got here is video format. You can choose from progressive, top field first, or bottom field first. Now progressive is for video clips that are made up of full frames. Top field first is interlaced video where the top or first field is displayed first. Of course, that means that bottom field first is interlaced video where the bottom or second field is displayed first. Now in order to go ahead and utilize this functionality of Mercality, you just go ahead and pick what type of compare view you want, you pick what type of stable cam you want, you pick all your adjustments that you want, and when you're done you click OK. I'm just going to leave everything as it is for now. When you click OK, you'll see that it analyzes your video. Now once it's complete, what you'll see is that your video footage has automatically been stabilized. Beautifully done. Now you just click OK. Let this bad boy render and you're good. Now one thing I want to tell you is that you'll notice that my uh, render line is going kind of slow right now compared to how fast it usually goes. But that's because when you use Mercalli V2 Pro, you got to make sure that your settings are on uh, best quality 
for your previews or else it won't function. All right, I'm done with all this. Let's go ahead and bust off into the final breakdown. As you can tell from the test footage, Macaulay V2 Pro is this rock solid and some stabilized footage, baby. The user interface is on point and it's crazy simple to use. I'm giving Macaulay V2 Pro my official stamp of approval. If you're looking for a solution to correct your handheld footage, the link to Macaulay V2 Pro is in the video description below. Now, jump up on it today and get that crappy footage under control. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.